Hello and welcome to another update video about Chile. So for Chile's, I think a few things have changed here. I think we are um, heading for lower now because we dropped too much. Yeah, we dropped below the ideal 78.6% FIB level. Therefore, I just made my channel members aware on Discord and Telegram that I exited um, a few minutes ago or 10 minutes ago my um, long position that I opened yesterday. I still have one open that I opened a few weeks ago, but the most imminent one I exited just because it's it's been dropping too far, you know, with trading, you need to know when it's time to leave and losing trades are part of the business. It's completely normal. And it's just that you shouldn't let them run too long. Um, but obviously it's up to you what you do. Of course, we can still go up from here. Yes. But for me, it's not, um, it's not anymore. You know, I'm, I'm out. Um, as I said, I still have the, that position open that I opened a few weeks ago. So that's fine. Still, I'll leave that open um, just in case we do go up. But that's sort of more my core position. The one that I opened yesterday was more like a short term long trade. Um, but no, the assumption didn't work out. We went below the key support box, which means we dropped too low, which means the alternative wave pattern gets more likely, which is now the primary. Um, and of course, the, the bullish case hasn't been invalidated here. But I think before we go bullish, we're going to drop much lower. Um, and let's take a look at that. We take a look at this and say that from the low, which was here in May, we moved up in a wave one. That has been the sort of the story for the last few weeks anyway. Then we came down here um, first. And the idea was initially that this could have been the wave two low and that we then started to move up in a wave one. But then the FTX drop, well, caused trouble. We came down um, even lower. And we explored the idea, well, okay, we dropped to that level. Was this maybe um, the low from which we can start new bullish potential? And there was a nice long position here. I took some profits up here, made you aware. But it has then um, dropped a bit too much because this could have been in the bullish interpretation, a so-called one, two setup and here another one, two setup. But as you can clearly see, we dropped below that support area and we're now retesting it from below. And this support area for this second one, two setup, let's take a look at that. I need to measure from here. We've dropped below the 78.6 FIB level and we are sustaining below it at the moment. Of course, it's still possible to rally from here, but for me, it's getting too risky, <clears throat> too unlikely. And because of that, I'm now looking at another wave pattern. I'm saying that it's for me now more likely as we've broken the key imminent bullish potential that this year was just a wave W. I need to take the blue count out by the way. That this was at wave W. We moved up in a wave X and we're now coming down in a wave Y. Um, I think you can also construct it as a larger ABC. It doesn't really matter. A so-called expanded flat where we have an overshooting wave B or X. That's both possible, both possible. And we're now coming down here in a, um, in a quite a sharp decline. And if we take a look at this, then we can say that in this um, wave Y, we've seen a wave A to the downside. That was the drop around the 9th of November when FTX came down. Then this year was just a three wave move to the upside, a wave B, and we're coming down in C. And that can take us down into the region around 12 cents. And there was bullish potential here, but looking at this, yeah, looking at this from a distance, this now looks like that we only had three waves up really, because we failed to recover from the support box. That would have been needed. Now we failed. Complete invalidation of the pattern will occur below 17.9 cents. Now that will be complete invalidation because then you're going below the low from the 14th of November. Um, and yeah, why do I say around about 12 cents? Well, it has to do with the situation that I calculate the length of the wave A, go to the high of the wave B, and the first target is around 12.2 cents. That's the one to one ratio for the C and the A wave, yeah, so that the wave C has the same length as the wave A. 
And if I now zoom in and wanna label the subwaves and I have to go for that, when I go to the 30 minute chart, So I take these boxes out now. They're not relevant, they might confuse. And see, we can we also dropped out um, of this price channel to the downside. That's also not really a bullish signal. So be very careful with that. Um, so then the view therefore is we continue to move down in a wave C, which would ideally land below the low of the wave A, which was here at 14.6 cents. So anywhere below that would be ideal. Um, it would be less likely to find support above it because that would be a so-called running flat. Of course, I can't rule it out. I also can't rule out that we are still in the bullish pattern, but it's just getting too unlikely. And therefore, I'm waiting until I get a clearer pattern. Okay, and that's my update about chilies. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.